You are what you eat, metabolizing polymers into monomers and then using those same monomers to build polymers again. And each type of biological molecule has a unique structure and function to make you, well, you. Hey, I'm Melanie Kingett from The Absolute Recap, and I make AP Bio easier with podcasts, study guides, videos, and the ultimate review packet. Let's zoom in. The four major biological molecules are proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids. Proteins are formed from amino acid monomers, which have one central carbon atom that forms four single covalent bonds. One is to hydrogen, another to a carboxyl group, a third is to an amino group, and fourth is to a variable R group. This R group is a substitute for different side chains that give each of the 20 different amino acids their unique chemical properties. When amino acids link together, dehydration synthesis occurs between an amino acid of one monomer and the carboxyl group of the other. The covalent bond formed between them is referred to as a peptide bond, which is why a chain of amino acids is called a polypeptide. This is a primary form of protein structure formed during protein synthesis at a ribosome within a cell. Hydrogen bonding bends the chain, forming alpha helices and beta pleated sheets with further folding in tertiary structure as R groups interact to attract or repel. And if you have more than one chain interacting in a globular shape, that's quaternary structure. Protein structure has such great diversity and seemingly endless functions like enzymes which catalyze reactions, structural support and transport channels, cellular receptors and signaling pathways, and motors for cellular movement. When in doubt, the cellular job is probably done by a protein. Carbohydrates are formed from monosaccharide monomers and only contain the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio. These biological molecules can form long chains, some of which are branched, or ring structures. Monosaccharides like glucose and fructose, as well as disaccharides like lactose and sucrose, are often used as fuel sources for the cell. Glucose in particular, C6H12O6, is the primary energy source for cellular respiration in mitochondria. Larger polysaccharides are used for structural support, such as cellulose in plant cell walls or chitin in animal exoskeletons and fungi cell walls. And starch and glycogen are used for long-term energy storage in plants and animals respectively. Lipids are a very diverse group of hydrophobic nonpolar molecules that do not follow the monomer-polymer format. Like carbs, lipids also contain the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, but will have a ratio of hydrogen to oxygen that is greater than 2 to 1. These fatty acid carbon-hydrogen chains are either saturated with hydrogen, resulting in straight chains that are closely packed together, or unsaturated, containing double carbon bonds, resulting in bent chains and are less dense. This is the foundation for why butter is solid at room temperature, but oil is not saturated versus unsaturated fat. Examples of lipids include triglycerides made up of a glycerol and three fatty acids and serve as an important energy source. In contrast, steroids have four carbon rings with attached functional groups and are found in cell membranes like cholesterol and used in signaling molecules like hormones. Phospholipids are amphipathic with hydrophobic fatty acid tails that repel water and hydrophilic heads which attract water. The property of phospholipids and their nature of forming a bilayer structure makes them the ideal structure to make up all cellular membranes. And lastly, nucleic acids which form from nucleotide monomers. A nucleotide has three parts covalently bonded together a pentose sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. Alternating sugars and phosphates covalently bonded together form the backbone of nucleic acids, while the nitrogenous bases vary to determine the genetic code. Deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, has a deoxyribose sugar, nitrogenous base pairs of adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, and is double-stranded. Ribonucleic acid, or RNA, has a ribose sugar with bases adenine, uracil, cytosine, and guanine, and is typically single-stranded. RNA has a very large role in gene expression and will be represented in molecules of mRNA, tRNA, and rRNA. All nucleic acids have a linear sequence with directionality, designated as 5' or 3'. 
referencing a specific carbon within the pentose sugar. To recap, the four major biological molecules are proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids. Proteins are formed from amino acids, carbs from monosaccharides, lipids have no true monomer, and nucleic acids from nucleotides. Each has specific structures for specific functions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next recap.